Christmas ornament time! You mail in your Christmas ornaments, we hang them on the tree. Here we go. This is from, I think that says Melinda Green or, uh, uh, I love to watch Wake Up, try and watch it every day. I Thank you, Living this. Word. Merry Christmas and God it's bless. It's like a little spool. Ta-da! Does it look good with the upside down one? Yeah, well I think this one's upside, no, that's right no, side that up. Oh, that right side up. Yeah. We only got one that was upside down. We'll be right back. Good morning, welcome to Wake Up! Where we wake up. I'm Pastor Scott. I'm Pastor Jason. If you're a new subscriber, type in where you're from. We're going to do morning scripture. We're going to pray for your day. But first, we're, we're going to be in Genesis 19 today, oh, verse like 17. That. And first, my daughter did, and I have, I just, I want to share this with you because I have, I like to have fun. You do So like you're going to, you're going to watch, my daughter did her, her recital, but it was online, whatever, via Zoom. Zoom. Yeah, Zoom. So I was recording it for the family later to watch. Okay. So I want you to just watch this little piece right here. Uh, we're having technical difficulties, so uh, we'll... Rotate. Rotate it. <laughs> no! That's so bad! <laughs> it hit the family so hard. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> but you, you took the time I to make I took the time eyes. while she was doing it. Yeah, I took a little pen. How many remember doing that? Was That, that was an 80s oh thing, right? God, we would make little so faces. Because we didn't have lips. phones to entertain us all day long. So yeah. we, this was our... Yeah, our we had what's called live memes. Hello. Where I go, hello. I would draw a little tongue right here. Yeah. So that when you open his mouth, he'd have like a little... little boop. Ah. You could do a little boop. Yeah. Anyway. Well, uh, and we do thumb wars like we did. We had to be inventive. To, yeah, knee football. That was a fun one. Oh my god! You ever watch the Goldbergs? The Goldbergs is one of my favorite shows because sometimes they, the two brothers. I'm like, uh, we actually did that. Right? How did they did, like stop hitting yourself? Where did you learn that from? Because that's like a real thing. It my my kids are like, did you ever actually do that? I'm like. Yeah, that was a thing, and I don't know where we learned it from. It wasn't on Happy Days. No, they or have a, they, they, what they do is they pull the oldest son uh, uh, aside, and there's like a it's like a three week training. But it only worked in the '80s. Nobody did it. In yeah, the they 90s stopped doing the training. So yeah. they trained me on how to tease you, proper ways to do to stop hitting yourself, <laughs> magic spit where you have spit that you have spit that goes down, you and then you suck it down, back in, and you get that that thick like. It was so gross. The saliva, it had to be a thick saliva. I, I had would to be, scream, and then right before it hits, you suck it back up. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, good morning. Uh, oh, we're in. Uh, what a, an incredible My message. My suffering worked a greater weight of glory. <laughs> it's a scripture. <laughs> oh my there was God. a purpose. Go ahead and re read the scripture. Uh, so you're teaching, though, of really, you were talking about Moses having to leave behind the crutch, the thing that, uh, and yeah. oftentimes we try to take our junk from season to season. Yeah. Right? That's a really From, good point. Right, like, a, we, we, like a tree, it's, it's supposed to drop its leaves. Yeah, you talked about the leaves. And, uh, but if it doesn't drop its leaves, then it looks like, as, it, as winter approaches, it'll look like that tree is clothed in death. Right. Sometimes the abscission cells in the, in the leaf, which are supposed to cut the leaf off, they, they malfunction because of the weather patterns are weird. Yeah. And you've seen trees where it didn't shed its leaves, and they get all, like, it just looks like it's awful. And it's, it's heavier. Now they hold all that snow. All Everything snow. gets all so much heavier. Cold, yeah. mm -hmm. And so God's like, okay, you're going to have to shed the old mm -hmm. to, to go to the new. Yeah. And so here we are at Lot. It's, it's a great picture, I thought, as uh, Lot, they've been living in Sodom and Gomorrah, and, and life has become a mess. Yeah. So the, the angels are rescuing them, and said, as soon as they had brought them out, one of them said, flee for your lives. Don't look back, and don't stop anywhere in the plain. And I think those two are very good. Don't look back. And don't stop. And don't stop. God's got like a we're, place we're that we're leaving. To take you. I'm taking you somewhere better. Right. <laughs> so anything's better than where the fire's falling, huh? Right. But isn't it interesting? Somebody will be in a real bad relationship. They'll get out, out right? And then they look back. They stop. That's what I Lot's miss. wife did. Right. She, she turned around. She turned around. Kind of like, wait, I don't know if I want to let go of that. I wonder if she heard this. Turn around. Yeah, every, every now, now and then, then I get, get a little yeah. bit... Tired of listening to the yeah, and I think I think that's what Satan does. Is like you you're leaving it, and he, he's like he's singing a song for you. He's like turn around, <laughs> don't don't turn around. Yeah, whenever you hear him, don't do what he says. <laughs> I like when people think about the glory days, and oh. then when they were in those days, they hated those days. But somehow, some ways, glory we can days. we can look back and yeah. we we were like oh. 
Yeah. You know, that the relationship that I, I, I left, yeah. this and that, and you forget as God's taking you to a new place. Yeah. But God says, don't look back. A wise man once said, uh, the good old days weren't always good, and tomorrow's not as bad as it seems. What was that? What song is that? Uh, it's, it's, I think it's Bruce Springsteen or... Oh, the great Rick philosopher. Or, the, yeah, the philosopher. The great philosopher, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Glory days. Yeah, glory days. Glory days. And so, um, you know, sometimes we'll get out of... Maybe God breaks an addiction off our life. He's like, don't look back. Don't look back. Don't go back to that junk. Let that stuff fall off of yeah. you. Isaiah 43 says, do not remember the former things. I love how he says that. Don't remember? Don't remember the former things. Just the remember things. them. And, and he says, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Oh. So God's up to something new in 2021. And, and, and we got things that we need to let go, some uh, wounds. Right. You know, the, the, the tragedy that causes the sadness that you've been stuck in for a couple years. You know, it was fine for that time. But it's, it's time to get up. It's time to let go of the, the tragic thing that happened that, that tries to creep in as, as depression and sadness every Every single Christmas, it brings you down, and then and then you're bringing everyone else around, down with you. Yeah. Uh, this this year's different. Don't let it get you this year, but let that old thing. Don't remember the former thing. And Jesus said this. He said, "No one having drunk the old wine immediately desires new, for he says the old is better." Right. And the first thing we need to realize is that he said, "No one." <laughs> no one does. No one who who's into the old embraces the new right and so so but but we we don't want to be like everyone else right we want to we want to be different because if we're like everyone else we get everyone else's results i want god's results yeah and everybody else holds on to the old and they hold on to the hurt well i can't i'm not going to let it go pastor you don't know what they did yeah but see you take the old into your new and your new just becomes like your old which is the old is the one that you left yeah and you wish that you didn't have the old you wanted something new you got something new but you brought the old into the new Wow. And then the, the new smelled just like the old did. And you're like, well, this smells. Yeah. See, you can't take your dirty socks. It's so funny. Your feet smell, say to one of my boys, right? Yeah. And so they just go with their socks and they put on a different pair of shoes. You can't take the old <laughs> smelly socks and stick them in the new into shoes. the new shoes. And you, and, you, and you took a shower and, wa- and your feet got all clean, but then you shoved your clean feet, feet into in your smelly socks. socks. And I think people do that. They take the old smelly stuff... Right? They didn't change their socks. Yeah. And you take it into your new relationship and you're like, but these, this, this but, smells just like the old relationship. But these you know, socks all always men, worked before. All men are that way. You know, all yeah. men. Well, no, maybe you brought some old smell into the new stuff that God's trying to do. Yeah. And maybe in your relationship, you think it's all of this out here, but maybe it's some of the things that you're carrying into the relationship mm-hmm. that makes it smell. And I think sometimes it's it's belief systems that we, we carry around with us that we won't let go. And right. I call them identity weaknesses, where you they identify are. yourself with the belief system. You're like, well, I'm the kind of person that will never... You said you this. Know, I love this. I'm, this. I'm the sort of guy that just doesn't buy into the Holy Spirit thing. Right. I'm so, always late. So then, oh, Je- yeah, But Jesus is like, uh, but the Holy Spirit's going to give you power. <laughs> and, right. and, and, and you're like, yeah, but I've, I've not done the Holy Spirit thing. It seems ooky spooky to me. Right. And so I've never done it. Right. And I'm just, and it's always worked for me before. And God's like, yeah. So And that's fine. I've had mercy for that. But listen, there's somewhere I'm wanting to take you that's going to require a bump in your power. Right. And I, I need you to have that wisdom and understanding and that, that insight that comes from the teacher, the Holy Spirit. So, so I kind of need you to let go of this identi- identity weakness. Well, I'm not the sort of person that believes in the Holy Spirit. Well, become the sort of person that believes in the Holy Spirit because you want all of Jesus, you not just all part the of power. Him. And don't let the crazy people ruin it for you. I'm just, you know, I'm just not a person that just gets into church. Right? And so people do. So I'm not the sort of Christian that actually needs church. And, and okay, but maybe that's worked for you in the past. But, you, you know, the Bible's so clear about the gathering and the birth of the church and what Jesus did. And upon That's what he's doing right now is he's building the church. He's right. growing us together. He's knitting yes. us together in love to bring us one family under one roof to worship God and to pray. And the, so, so what part of going into a place where a bunch of other believers are there and then praying and singing songs to God and bringing your gifts to God is bad. And right. then you hear the word of God right. and the Holy Spirit has the power to germinate that word and grow and change you. And if not for you, then the people around you. I want to be new. You know, I was the person. Maybe your kids need it's so it. Funny. Maybe and your you, wife And you can it. do it. You just have to set your mind to it. I'm, I was the guy that would say forever, I just, I don't like, I don't like hiking. I don't like it. My wife loves hiking. You with made all it of an heart. identity weakness. Yeah. Said, I'm not the sort of guy. I that just, I just hike. hate it. And I'd go, and I'd have a bad attitude. I'd be grumpy, and and it always ended up in a fight. But I went. Why are we fighting? Why is it? I was I, here. Yeah, I was here. I went. Yeah, right. And so I had to change, and just go. I just kept telling myself, I love hiking. 
Hiking's my favorite. It's my and favorite. I, and every week I go, let's go hiking this week. She's like, you don't want to go hiking. I'm like, I want to go hiking. Let's go hiking. She's like, no. And then we then finally she's like, fine, we'll go hiking. So now I beg to go hiking. <laughs> and then I laugh. I had fun. And I got done. I went, I enjoy hiking. Yeah. It and works. that's the same thing. Go into, well, you know, I'm just not a very lovey-touchy person. But your wife wants somebody yeah. who holds her hand and shows her attention. So don't, I, well, my dad wasn't that way. Fine. God's doing a new thing. And if you want your marriage to go to the next level. You may have to forget some form. Well, it's always worked before. Yeah, I yeah. know. But it's not going to work where you're going. Right. So if you want to cycle, that's fine and you'll be stuck. I'm just not a communicator, Jason. But it's better to forget the, the old thing. Jason, I'm just not a communicator. Become one. How hard is it to communicate with a wife? Here's the thing I know about Jesus is he can do all things and he's in you. <laughs> So whatever you're saying you can't do, I already know that you can do it. Let me so I don't accept that. Let me give you the secret, man. This is a secret. Maybe pause, women, you don't get to watch this. Ooh, the secret to communicating off. with your wife. We just this, lost half and our it's, re it's really hard. Yeah. How was your day? And then you just, you just, you just, you just and you just let it go. Yeah. And, you, and they'll go. Yeah. And you, you've had a great, all you did is smile. You don't get on your phone. No. You and don't and try and smile. solve all the problems. No, no, never. I'm so, I'm so bad at that. Yeah. Don't solve any problems. Just yeah. empathize Just and go, oh my God. Uh, you're joking. Are you kidding me? Are you joking? Little Jimmy? Oh, okay. All right. Well. No, Jason, great communicating. Mm -hmm. Anyway, how was your day? Then nod your head. Mm. Oh. Wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. You want to pray for their day? Yeah, I, well, I wasn't listening to you. I can do that. I can act like I'm listening and not be listening. Exactly. That's it's... messed up. Don't do that. <laughs> Dear Father, Lord, we ask that you bless everyone watching the show, Lord. Guide them, direct them, help them to forget the old and grab a hold of the new. The yes. things that are holding them back, the things mm -hmm. that are limiting them. The old smelly socks don't get to come into my 2021. Lord, I'm leaving those and I'm bringing some new stuff in. I'm putting new socks on. I'm bringing new things into my relationships that I have, into my job, into my day. A new attitude. I sing a new song. Everything that I'm doing is going to be new in 2021. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, um... You can text this number in this whole thing, and they're putting it on the screen right here. But, And we'll text you a reminder every single day with a link to the next day's Bible study. Right. That makes it easy. My eyes are itchy. If you need itchy prayer eyes. for itchy eyes, I do. we have a phone number you can I call. I think I've been laughing so hard filming these that my eyes, I'm like, oh. 480-937 and then some stuff. Some other 8224 <laughs> or 2330-I mean. Two. And uh, 937. Okay, 480 And then click the screen right now and watch last week's uh, message. It's so good.